Hello and welcome to my matchup guide. In this video, I'll be going over the Testament, Axel, Faust, Zotto, and Jacko matchups. Let's get right into it. Testament has far-reaching normals that can hit you if you run around with the gun out. This also makes them good at whiff punishing since you can't block when you try to hit confirm your pokes with gunshots. Their 2k low profiles well and reaches far, so it's great at stuffing success. While Happy Chaos 2k does low profile well, Testament's far slash hits low enough to prevent you from avoiding it. Their far slash is also significantly outranges Happy Chaos's 2s, so be wary in the mid range. Skipgo can make them think more carefully since you can close the distance without them being able to challenge or keep away to gain resources in zone. While their 2h is very slow, it is very disjointed and has low recovery. At range, it is best not to contest it with a ground normal, but use shots or jump ins. Their IEDJH is a fast and far reaching approach that can be difficult to 6p at times. 5p is an alternative that can stuff it due to JH being slower than average. While Testament's Fireball is very strong against most of the cast, its long startup leaves them quite vulnerable and you have a strong advantage in the full screen game. Their ID back S Fireball is faster and good at stopping you from running up on them. In the mid to long range, it can help stop Happy Chaos from shooting, especially if Curse is not on them. If they're able to get out a fully charged Fireball, it will reach you and hit you out of your study aim or resource building specials. However, you can use Scapegoat to stop the Fireball from hitting you. The sequence keeps the zoning possible while protecting yourself, though it does take many bullets. Doing fast cancel with 2 on 4 s into IED shots lets you avoid the fireball and approach easily. After a typical block string, dash up 2s is good because many testaments will do crow. If they end a string with 5h, IED J2k will beat 6p. In the mid range, after blocking far slash, jump forward into negative edge shot is a strong option since 5h will not always reach so they will special cancel. This will let you avoid crow and arbiter sign. They can call you out by making the crow go forward, but this is a read and has pretty low reward. If they whiff the 5h, they would be able to 6p the jump in, but air back dash shot will punish this or any other option. 6s will beat any special move. If you block the fireball, dash up 2s will beat crow, but loses to far slash. And if you time it right, it will autocorrect and punish teleport. If you expect a teleport, you can stand in the succubus. You can combo close slash into 2 1 for s, and if they end up behind you, it becomes 2 3 6s, which is also a combo starter. But the most consistent option is a throw punish. Getting hit by 2k 2d fireball is not even a bad situation, especially if you set up scapegoat and they put you right back in your best spot versus them. If they try to do crow into fireball, you will be able to shoot and punish. The scariest thing on defense they have is super PRC, which they can do in a standard block string to get a big punish. Axel's 5p is a powerful poke, but you can low profile it with dash 2k. Because of Axel's high commitment neutral, running around with the gun out lets you lock on and punish moves like 2H and Rensen. Axel's 2H is a very powerful tool in the matchup since it can punish steady aim startup and focus into steady aim from a long distance. However, calling it out by backing further away lets you get a decently easy punish, especially with Curse. After blocking a special move that isn't Rensen full screen, you can safely throw out Curse. It will make them scared to throw out moves because you can neutral jump into shots to hit them for standing still or punish for committing to something like Rensen or 2H. If you're fast enough, you may be able to stuff it all together and either get a combo or cancel into run-up shots. Also, Scapegoat can make them uneasy about throwing it out. Even with Scapegoat, Rensen will eat right through it. But if you end in steady aim shot, Scapegoat 5-8 shot, you can safely focus. If they do Rensen into the explosion follow-up, you will not be able to shoot before they can Rensen again. 5p can poke you out of your charge shots from far away if you're not tight, so if you think they'll try to challenge, do fast shots to frame trap. Also, charge shot reload into dash 6k will frame trap or true string from a longer distance than you may think. When approaching from full screen against your zoning, dash 5p and 2h will be normals to be wary of from far ranges after you commit to a focus, so sometimes it's better to cancel into curse or scapegoat and play it a bit safe. Faust far slash is a difficult button for you to contest. As always, scapegoat can make this easier to deal with. His 2h also outranges your 2s and will stuff success from very far away. Interestingly, Faust crawling forward can completely low profile success. However, crouching and crawling back will not avoid it. If they try to crawl forward, 2s will be an easy punish though. Faust is especially susceptible to zoning due to his down back moving him backwards. This combined with an average run speed and slower pokes actually makes him one of the easiest characters to keep out. Thrust won't reach, item toss is unsafe and doesn't get the item into play, and mix 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 is too slow. His best option is Scarecrow PRC, which can net him some good reward. Even though Faust is extremely short while crouching, the up BRC mix still works on him. 
Also, he can do super PRC in your block string to get a decent punish. While Jacko's 2D is not disjointed, its forward movement can make it a difficult button for your 2S to contest. Her 2D is also a strong option against 6S since she can low profile it so well. The later hits of her 5H seem to be low profiled by her 2S and 2K. Since her minions go away when she blocks or gets hit, shots are extremely powerful in this matchup. Even without Curse, he can stop her from throwing minions and attacking as long as you don't start to pull the gun out until after she throws. And she can't block or even use the shield to save herself from the shots, so she is very vulnerable using minions, forcing her to change how she plays. You won't always have time to shoot her before minions are out, so don't forget to 5P them. Jacko is an easy character to zone. None of her special moves will help her, she has a slower dash with slow and small buttons. This sequence should keep her up pretty well, and her best options of dash up 5H and 2K will be way too slow unless she's very close, but this can even be dealt with by scapegoat. Since Sato's 2S is his major poking tool that has no disjoint and less range than your 2S, you have the advantage in the mid-range. Similar to Jacko, Zato's summons all go away on block, forcing him to be very careful when to use them. This gives you a significant advantage in the mid-range and full screen game. Also, Drunkard Shade cannot reflect the shots. Zato's flight does not help him avoid shots and prevents him from having a good IUD option to get around, scapegoat, and approach if you curse. Shooting him while he's flying can guarantee curse and resources while pushing him further away. Zato's slow dash speed makes it hard for him to approach and punish your zoning. Since Oppose doesn't protect him from the bullets, he cannot safely summon and uses other summons to attack. Even if he gets a 2S from a decent range, it won't lead to a combo unless he's close enough. Be careful when they do get close because 5H counter hit is very rewarding. That's it for this video. As always, if there's something you think I missed, let me know down below. Thank you for watching.